<laughs> That's a bad way to start a show, right? That's okay, I don't care. <laughs> no, because usually I come out and the first thing I say is, hey, I, how's everybody feel? I don't care. <laughs> it's just a nice thing to say to people, hey, how do you feel? But see, this whole, this whole thing, comedy, is like a lot of, especially in the States, it's like a lot of bull shit, right? <laughs> It is, it, 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 you know, and you know, I'm so sick of that because I've been getting BS'd all my life. All my, like, from like little kid on up, from like nursery school. You guys have nursery school here, right? I hate that. That's what they read us like fairy tales. And my teacher in, in, in like nursery school, she hated me because I would always tell her, you know, what was really going on. <laughs> this woman would always say stuff to us like, the cow goes, moo. And the whole class would go, moo. <laughs> and then she goes, the dog goes, bow, wow. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. I mean, it goes, moo, but never, bow, wow. <laughs> I've never heard a dog go, bow, wow. <laughs> so this woman knew I was more aware than the rest of the kids, so she would do evil stuff to me. She would, like, read us a story and then cut the lights out and say, nap time. And that's when I would start screaming, ah, ah, I can't sleep. <laughs> She's like, what is wrong with you? You just read us a story about Little Red Riding Hood. There's been a fucking murder. <laughs> How can I sleep with a wolf running around eating people's grandmothers? <laughs> People never even think about this story. Have you ever thought about how evil that story is? This story is called Little Red Riding Hood. There's a girl dressed in all red. She's skipping through the woods by all the woodsmen. What does that mean when you see a woman dressed in all red? She's a hooker. <laughs> this is not the type of story I want to hear. <laughs> I have a grandmother at my house right now. <laughs> Can I make a phone call and tell her to lock the door? <laughs> and then she goes on with the story, you know, and she's like red, skipping through the woods. She's on her way to grandmother's house. But, you know, and then the wolf eats her grandmother. And what did he do after that? He put her, he put her clothes on. And I'm thinking, hey, what kind of evil faggot shit is this? <laughs> And I told her, I said, hey, I know what's wrong with the wolf. <laughs> he is a transvestite. <laughs> I know my uncle does the same thing. <laughs> I recognized the problem. I knew what it was. The wolf was like the big bad wolf, but he dressed in ladies' clothes. Hey, that was his thing. <laughs> he didn't have to eat that old lady just to get some clothes. <laughs> and then Red, she comes over and she's like, oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. And I'm thinking, hey, how long has it been since she visited? <laughs> and how ugly was this old lady <laughs> that she's mistaking him for wild dog? <laughs> but whatever, the wolf got his head cut off. The important part is the big bad wolf died with a dress on. <laughs> His little secret is out. <laughs> and then this teacher looks at us and she says, and everyone lived happily ever after. And that's when I screamed out. I was only five, but I screamed out, this is bullshit. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Wood.